Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can download OpenOffice on your MacBook computer. Before I begin, give this video a like, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And remember, I'll be doing a contest of two Amazon gift cards once I reach 2,000 subscribers. For you to enter that contest, all you need to do is be subscribed and comment down below and let me know you want to enter the contest. So, since I got that out of the way, today's video is how to download OpenOffice. If you're not familiar, familiar with OpenOffice, uh, think of it like a Microsoft Office, um, but a free it's free software, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. I did a video on how to download this for the Windows uh, version, Windows operating system, so you can find that in one of the cards up top. Uh, basically, in this program, OpenOffice, you will find your word processor, your Excel um, type of deal, spreadsheets, and your uh, PowerPoint. Now they don't call them, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, um, but they're different variations. Um, pretty similar, but different at the same time. So this is 100% free, and this is for MacBook computer, so let's just jump right into it. Get on your Mac, log in, and I want you to go to I'm sorry, I want you to go to any web browser, if it's Safari or Google Chrome, whatever you're comfortable with, and I want you to go to the openoffice.org website. So that's openoffice.org. Once you do that, you'll be at this Open Office homepage, and you want to click on, I want to download Apache OpenOffice, right here. Click on that. And then it should automatically detect what machine you're on. So for me, I'm on OS X version 10.7 um, so it should detect automatically you don't have to fumble through these menus but if you're on a Windows machine it'll say you know Windows 10 Windows 7 whatever you're on so you're gonna click on download full installation install or run here let's say your download will start shortly just give a little bit little timer here five four three about that so I'm gonna hit zero and it's going to see it at the bottom here. It's going to start downloading. It should be pretty quick depending how fast your internet is. Mine's almost done here. About 40 more seconds and we'll be ready to rock. So this is this definitely helps people um, who want that Microsoft Office suite, um, but you know maybe they can't afford it. Uh, it is kind of pricey, so this is definitely a nice alternative, a free alternative. So I'll show you once it's downloaded. I'll show you how to put shortcuts on your MacBook and we will be uh, good to go. So, it's like download. My speeds down here in the basement can be a little slow sometimes, so it was just at 40 seconds, now it jumped to a minute, now it jumped to 50 seconds. Um, so it all depends, like I said, just let it do its thing. I mean, it's moving, but always can move a little bit faster. All right, so I'm coming up here, almost finished. Got seven seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. Right. Almost done. Cool. Okay, so once it's finished, it's going to blink, and then once it stops blinking, that's when you know it's done. So if you click on it, it'll say opening. It'll say verifying. Let it run its course, let it do its thing. Apache Open Office 4.1.7. Let it verify. All right, so down here, checking volumes, finishing. And now just wait for it to install, like so. This window is going to pop up. All you're going to do is hold in Open Office and drag it to your applications, like so. I'm going to say preparing to copy to applications. Let that do its thing. It's going to copy open office. And like I said, all these programs are similar to Microsoft Office. Very, very similar. So if you're used to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, you won't have any problems with these programs. I can close this a while. What does that? All right, this should move pretty quick. We're almost done. Trying to make this uh, painless as possible, fast as possible. 
All right, so I can click out of Google Chrome, let this finish up. Copying all the applications. Do, 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 do. All right, so now that we're done, you can go ahead and double click on Open Office. And then it's going to say Open Office is an app download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Just click on Open. Close out of the application folder. From here, just hit next. You can put your name in if you would like. You know, if you, you put your name in if you want to, first name, last name, initial. I'm just gonna hit finish. And here we are, we're at the open office menu. We have our text document, which would be Microsoft Word almost, spreadsheet, which would be Microsoft Excel, presentation, which is PowerPoint. So if I double click on text document, It'll open up to what looks like Microsoft Word to a degree, maybe not 100%, but it is very close. Um, so yeah, that's Microsoft Word. Um, get rid of this, the trash. All right, so that's how you download OpenOffice. Pretty simple. Um, it should make an icon down here on your dock. And if you wanted to, you could click on the magnifying glass, type in applications. And click on applications here. And you could hold an open office and drag it to your desktop. So that way it can make a desktop shortcut. And you'll have it both. You'll have it here on your dock and you'll also have it here on your desktop as well. So that's how you download OpenOffice. So if I double click this, and I'll just show you what spreadsheet looks like. Very similar to Microsoft Excel. You know, you have your, your toolbar up here, um, and it says what everything does, hyperlink, sort ascending, sort descending. Um, so if you're used to Excel, PowerPoint, Word, you'll be used to all these programs. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you download OpenOffice for a MacBook computer. If you have any questions, please drop it down in the comments below. If you want to enter that contest, be subscribed to my channel and let me know you want to enter and we'll go from there. Once I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm pretty close, um, about 400 subscribers away. So that'll be here before you know it. But that's it. I got to get out of here and I will see you guys on the next video. Later.